All right, welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Shogun, Shogun episode five. five. It is time for war. It is time to make ready for death and yeah. war. Blood and violence, because guess what? Well, yeah. we already had a bit of that. We already had a, a healthy dosing of mm -hmm. that. Yeah. A, a dollop, if you will. And it wasn't the pistols that you had to be worried about. Mm -mm. It uh, was like the things that are like pistols, but, you know, scaled up maybe, you know, 50 eight times. times. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. No yeah. no big deal. No, no big, big deal. deal at all. It's fine. Uh, you know, it, you know, with the way that information travels, it'll be weeks before, <laughs> <laughs> before I mean, Ishido finds out luckily, about this. Luckily, and to be fair, given that the infantry, at least, are already trained with, like, how to fight. Learning how to use the cannons probably much simpler, you know? But, yeah. Yeah. You don't have much time. And you don't have numbers on your side. And Toronaga disappeared to go do something. Right. Which is fun. Mm -hmm. Having him constantly be using subterfuge and also kind of maybe even anonymity to kind of oh, avoid, yeah, yes. avoid situations of like this. But, I mean, also just the idea of hiding in plain sight like the way that he has up until now. Oh, sure. I'm very curious to see how this episode will go because mm -hmm. it could just be that it's like, hey, we're sticking with, you know, Blackthorn's perspective and everything mm -hmm. and all the craziness that's probably going to, you know, come down on their heads. Yeah. But it could also be like, oh, hey, so here's what Tornog has been up to. Here's, sure. you know, how he responds when he finds out the news of what happened, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah. The carnage. Let's all uh, grab it, put it together, and uh, go bury or burn it. Yep. Yeah. No. Oh, the army was nearby in case something happened. Yeah, oh, they wanted you to. Shit. Oh shit. No way. Oh, there's thousands. Or, or is this Toronaga? No, no. Oh, oh, oh gotcha, okay. gotcha. It is. It is. Who you got with you? No way! Wait! What? Bundaro? Oh Holy my god! Shit! What? Oh my what god! A, what a- Well, okay. Holy- Oh my god. Now remember, that was a courtesan. How yeah. did he get out of that? He is built different. I guess. I'll, I will say though, killed on screen. You know, it's that like, he goes behind a spot and then like, so, you know. Into the fist. Ooh. Okay,にしたばかりか。お世継ぎまで苦労したも同然よ。大野殿、いかがでござる。断崖や。我らの思いがピタリと一致するとは何とも心強いことで。Again. Gotta find the right person that doesn't, uh, yeah, you know, lean too much in one of their directions. <laughs> Damn, you okay? Isn't there something? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How 
How convenient. Have fun with that, Mariko. <sighs> what are you gonna do? いつまでも甘えるでない。けど、俺が。馬と言えず、人以上に油断がならぬ。ほう。そのたは、安々と罠にはまるよった。手なずけられたのじゃ。There it is. Which is what you ended up being, so... Right. Learn this lesson. Yep. Never let this happen again. Yeah. Yep. That's... That's yeah. proper... Proper punishment. Yep. yep. Alright. I mean, it's been some time that took Toranaga to come here with the army, so... Sure. It's probably accounted for within that transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, all right. That facial acting. Yep, yep. He is furious. As I live and breathe, the most precious gift there is. You see that? I do my part and the old man does his. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes. There will be a terrible stench. But this is a gift from Toranagasama. It must be the best pheasant this village has ever prepared. Now, this next part is very important. Yeah, we're gonna salt the shit out of it. You touch this bird. Kokorowe Mashtaka. Kinzuru. Hi. Um. Sawatara. Shinu. They're like, uh, sure, all right. ちまで半身様だけがお使いになる新しい包丁をあつらえさせよう。今後私たちが口にするものには安心様の道具を。自分のお好きなものを召し上がって何の触りがある。失礼いたします。戸田様がお見えでございまする。はい。どこじゃ
But if they come out to me, oh my god, Tadanaga is vicious, yeah, but also the huh, really, sure, you were. Whoa。わお。いや、爪はしょなぶっては。獲物を捕らえた高野よりわしを振り回しておるのじゃ。あろうことか、このわしの領地。いや。捕らえるお前に逮捕の再配を任せるそうじゃ。兵たちをよう
様がもっと酒を飲んで同棲になったら亡くなりましたと答えよいやいやそれからその肉汁は<笑> This is I, so uncomfortable I love Fuji so much If you cheat, cheat death If you steal, steal the heart of a woman If you lie, lie in the everlasting warmth of her bosom And if you drink, drink with me バンジンの国にも行ったようじゃ。わしらもすぐさま。それ入りまする。安神様は大阪を脱出なさった武勇伝をぜひ聞かせてほしいとおっしゃっておられます。ああ。武勇は守備と岡沢のもの。物語は子
Don't shut up! Look at me! Oh. Oh, and that's a gun, not the sword. Uh -huh. They can't speak to each other. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, what are you doing? Get up! Oh! Sake! Is that your excuse? Get up, you bastard! On your feet! Wow. Holy Even shit. now he's apologizing like I I was drunk, but Okay. Piece of shit. Did not accept the apology. Hit both mm -hmm. on the right posts, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, fuck. Ah, I, I can breathe again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like no words. That was just that was insane. Mm. Is this the spy? Smart. Mm. Nobody can kill them and restrict their capacity to send messages. Shit. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> God, it's just covered in flies. Please. I don't understand anything you're saying. Where is she? <laughs> you get her because then she can translate for me. Right. Nice dismount. You all right? No. <laughs> because I mean, your husband's brutality is no fault of yours. We should not be seen together. Ah, oh, the pox on that. Yeah. Don't put it behind that folded fence of yours, whatever you call it. <laughs> your swords. Pujisama believes they were given to our father as a battle honor. The truth is he died a coward begging for his life. Her grandfather bought them from a drunken samurai for three bags of rice to spare her the embarrassment. Wow. But she knows nothing and we say nothing. Jeez. Holy shit. Honestly, shuffling around with your manners and your buried self for what? I would not expect for you to understand. Oh, forgive me, but you'd die to avenge your father. You'd live in anguish. Uh-huh. To spite your husband. Which is it? What right. becomes of you? Mm. Right. Those are twisting you apart. If freedom is all you ever live for, you will never be free of yourself. I will honor my duty as your translator. But from this day forward, the only words we share will be from other's lips. Because it was his pride and his mm. lack of freedom from himself that forced this whole drunken, right. yeah, kind of yeah. bravado, cock, you know, mm -hmm. measuring yep, bullshit. Yep. Wait, people are crying. Wait. What's the matter with everyone? Now you have no means to communicate, yeah. What is it? Yeah, we took it down. Old bastard should get a medal just for being able to climb up there. It's fine. It's been up there long enough anyway. But Ujiro, Yoroshi. You said death. Yeah. Shinimashita. They killed him. 
触ったら死ぬと What have you done? You put that old man to death over a stinking God cursed pheasant You don't value your words Go away All of you Go away Yeah, you still don't get it. Holy shit. Oh my god. That! That's... When we were at sea, we discussed my training, your army, and European combat. I feel I have now fulfilled that duty. I ask that my ship and my men... Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> it's my understanding that you ordered no one to touch that bird. And my lawyer house could not disobey that order. Nor could they allow the rotting pheasant to ruin the peace of the village. The bird meant nothing to me. Your words gave it meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The meeting was called with Miraji, who was the village headman. But he determined it was a house problem. So someone had to steal it and bury it. And Wijido announced that he had been sick lately, so he volunteered. Oh. He died for a great purpose. Was a better end than he could have hoped for. Holy shit. There's no use dwelling on what cannot be undone. How can you believe that? We live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. Oh. Not a baby earthquake. <laughs> Bigger. Oh my god. Bigger earthquake. Holy shit. No. The army. Holy shit. Oh my god! He's here! Yeah, dig, 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 dig. Treason! There he is! Fuck! It is a good thing they moved quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you can have mine. These belong to Fuji's father. They may not be much, but I'd be honored if he would accept this gift. <laughs> Do you know what this means? Giving me your swords? <laughs> he doesn't know! <laughs> yeah, the army. And the cannons. My God, that's that's wild. That's it. That's it. Go down quickly, and so you can put them back up quickly. Holy shit. You know what's kind of crazy about this? What is they were feeling like this house is cursed, and then he's brought a curse with them, mm. and then and then immediately after all this crazy stuff starts happening, an earthquake. It's gonna God fill damn. into the superstitions of like, oh sure, he's the reason for this, you know. Oh no, no, no! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Okay, she looks, she looks, she looks like she's alive. She's she's alive. She's alive. 
Yeah. Do your part, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a good man's garden. Mm-hmm. Uh, this episode has had me so stressed. I don't feel like I've been able to process my yeah, emotions. Yeah, yeah, I know, like, right? Ugh. Ah, someone died and was buried. Ah, nice. Ah,なるほど。<laughs> Oh, you did that too. Yes. Damn. Good job, though. Like, I mean, took advantage of the opportunity, but yep. Yeah. All right, she's been moved. Mm-hmm. <laughs>私が江戸を出られたのは大老衆が虎長に揺さぶりをかけてくださったおかげだと聞いておりまする。うん。バイクは I am here. Mm -hmm. You will obviously have a replacement. Bring me Tornaga's head. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. What's fun is that this can be a part of his scheme to get them to, you know, potentially commit. But the problem is. They don't have the capacity for a trap because their army just got. No, I know. Decimated. Yeah, it's it, holy shit. All yeah, right. it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be an insurgent force from a from a ship. Holy shit, y'all! Oh my god! Um, so that... this show gave us like three or four major twists within this episode. Uh huh. Resolved all of them, I think. I believe so. If I can so. go in through go through a count yeah. here, so. Spy Buntero. situations handled. Oh, well, yeah. well, no, no. But, but he's alive. Yeah. He's alive. Right. Right. He's alive just yeah. in yeah. general. Just, just, just right. that in of itself. Oh my God. Toranaga is here with an army. Mm -hmm. And within the same episode, armies decimated by a landslide caused by an earthquake. Yep. No big deal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then, Mariko. We never know what her past is, mm -hmm. but we've been getting hints about some things in which she has had something done to those around her and she wished to get back into the fight, specifically right. something with her father. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it was, but there's this element of people looking down upon her because of her father's actions. Yep. We never knew really exactly what that was, mm -hmm. but now we know that it is very clear mirror in a much more extreme manner with yep. what happened to Fujisama's right. um, husband. Which, by the way, I just want to say, Fuji is officially my favorite character in this show now. Like, like as more far as- More than Mariko? Yeah, yeah. Like, like Mariko, Mariko is great. All Mariko's the characters- goaded. All right. the characters are very well Wait. written, but Fuji is is like the, okay, if, if anything happens to Fuji, so help me God. You know, like, like she's well, right because from her situation here, she got elevated to basically be a part of a new house, whereas she was a part of one that basically was uh, sure. I mean, I'm not even talking about like, like. But it, it means it makes sense for her like protection in a lot of ways. No, no, no yeah, I just I'm I'm just like Fuji, you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> like, like that. That this this show does such a good job of uh -huh. like in the midst of all of the what the fuck the gardener got killed because you know yeah. right. Because we gotta keep going through my plot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Then that one. Mm -hmm. The if anyone touches this pheasant, did the die f forbidden? You know. Right, right, right. I was thinking of that. Like, bro, that's pretty extreme. Like, yeah. people will never touch it. 
uh -huh. because of you saying that. And I thought it's the, okay, they will follow that instruction to the letter and that nobody will ever touch it. Right. But I didn't think about the idea that they're not going to be able to understand why it hanging there uh -huh. is like like something that he cares so much about. Right. But he doesn't. The lesson from this episode is never trust a British person when it comes to food. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. That, that was so, so wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Continuing yes, with what you were yes. getting. So <laughs> then, while that, you know, continues on, mm -hmm. they had a village meeting to decide who would basically take it upon themselves to do something about it. And he elected it, it from the same standpoint of, I will sacrifice my life because I don't have that many years left, most likely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we don't even know whether or not, like, the town, like, executioner or just some, you know, young man yep. ended up killing him or if he committed seppuku, like, immediately oh, yeah. after that. Who knows? That. Right. Yeah. Because all, all they know is, you know, somebody that has been put into a position of power said, don't touch this. If you touch this, you die. You know, right? And so they're like, okay, but we have to do something about this. So Right. From, from that standpoint, Ueijiro basically saw the perspective that Monaco has been trying to communicate to Blackthorn that mm -hmm. life is something that we do not have control over. And if you believe that you actually have control over life and death, then what is an earthquake? Yeah. What are all right. those men down there that just died? You think mm -hmm. you can control that? You think any of them could control that? Right. No. No, you're a part of something way bigger than yourself. So abandon yourself, mm -hmm. John Blackthorn, because it's killing you and it's killing others. Right. The idea that he made these decisions, he rationally spoke a language and in a culture and context that mm -hmm. he does not respect or appreciate. Yep. And they, by elevating him to the status, respect everything that he says. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is beautifully yeah. that... tragic. Oh, absolutely. Like, Fuck. Th yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, to say nothing of, like, the... And then, in the midst of all of that, you also have the thing with, like... Um, uh, I'm forgetting his name. But um, uh, the husband, who's then there... Oh, just calling him Buntaro. Oh, Buntaro. I'm, I'm close yes, enough yes. to him, I can say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, right, Buntaro. And, and, you know, Blackthorn's like, all right, yeah, fuck this. This guy's... This guy seems like kind of a prick. I know how to deal with pricks. I'll drink him under the table. You know, and then, right? And and we, of course, in our, in our like, oh, surely, the, oh, is this going to be something where then they, like, beat the shit out of each other and then become best friends? Well, no. I was joking. I, yeah, was, right, no, I was joking. Right, I was even, like, there's no way that's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. But even, like, the, you know, the joke of it is coming into our mind of the, like, not fully getting just how crazy the situation is going to get to uh -huh. the point where then he's like, choose a post, right? Uh -huh. And it's just like, uh, uh, right, you know. Oh my God. The abuse. The Holy way in which shit. she basically took the threat of violence mm -hmm. and without words basically spoke something to Mariko that was mm -hmm. so terrifying. Because what I think he's basically said in no uncertain terms uh -huh. is that I saved you from a life of shame by marrying you. Mm -hmm. And also and by thus, ordering you to continue to live. Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But that's a that's under the umbrella of yep. marrying her. Yep. And you would dare do anything remotely rebellious oh, yeah. towards me. Right. Your life is mine. Right. In some ways, it flies completely in the face of controlling life. But it doesn't in that this is the part that maybe Blackthorn needs to get is that I think Buntaro's piece of shit as far oh, as yeah. like the way he treats Mariko, but the value and understanding how much your life actually does control other people's lives. The idea that oh, uh -huh. Blackthorn's words right, right. and it's, actions. Yeah, it's the it's the two different extremes, lives. right? You know, yeah. Buntaro is like my my life affects your life and all this stuff. And then 
as a result of that, I can do it. You know, as a result, well, I can do whatever right. I want. Whereas, whereas with all that. you know, Blackthorn, he's like, well, I'm just a dude that's here, and you yeah, know, I'm free to do yeah whatever I want. And so then he doesn't realize that, like, oh shit, but that that pheasant, uh, fuck, you know, like, yeah, he's dead now, yeah. right? Yeah. The way in which the show uses the show don't tell hmm. um, method here through the structure of a story that is based so much around the weight of words makes then the moments where the silence and the nonverbal stuff happen makes so much more oh yeah like have so much more impact just the point when when mariko starts you know being like all right i'm distancing myself from you and all that stuff and then how his life immediately falls apart because now he's mm -hmm. like even just trying to c communicate with fuji and he can't hmm. like not really like, no. like anything that requires more than just, you know, basic one or two simple words. This, knows. that, or yes, no. You know, right, right, exactly. You yeah. know, and it's just, nope. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Also, uh, Bundhero blowing my mind with the, oh, no. Ah, you're right. I was in the wrong. Not for abusing my wife and threatening yeah, yeah, yeah. violence upon her, I brought but I brought disturbance to your home. Right, I was underneath your roof, and I was the guest, and thus I, I was a poor guest. I apologize. Here's right. my sword if you'd like to kill me. Right, like the level of, the level of, like, just, um. <sighs> respect within certain circumstances right. but then the priorities for the right because it's you know, baked in rules and tradition and, right and right exactly yeah so there's there's something there's something incredible about the way that blackthorn can come to the conclusion at the end of the episode when he's in front of tornaga and say you, you, people don't have any value for life right yeah you, you have your ways they don't make any sense to me mm -hmm. and I, I can see exactly how he came to that conclusion the yep. idea that these uh, traditions and customs uh, absolutely sacrifice the 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 one or the I, if mm -hmm. you will. And uh, Mariko and Toranaga are these very staunch um, resistors and also hip not hypocrites, but like they hold that in tandem with something else that they keep hidden inside right. themselves and that it's not the idea that they've sacrificed the eye or the the ego or any of that other stuff entirely it's that they hide it so damn well that you might as well think it doesn't exist sure blackthorn yep. and so these two are actually in staunch rebellion to everything that is the current structure of things toranaga might be about to fight the other four council members mm -hmm. to effectively stage a coup to take over Japan. Like that's that's the level yeah. of and yet it's not ego that's driving this. It's the idea that he's also under an order. Right. That he must fight the lonely fight mm -hmm. surrounded by enemies and yep. not revealing any of his true intentions to anybody. And yet yeah. because Mariko has this unique perspective, he kind of almost has to share some of it with her. Sure. And because Mariko has a very similar hidden fight deep within her he can actually trust her like yeah right like, to, it's it's so cool to, well right it's the it's the the layers of trust right yeah. the degree to which you know trust can be had while at the same time understanding you know no i i i don't trust her not in the way that you might blackthorn or you mm -hmm. know and i don't trust you know even my son like that you know well, no especially you know after maybe what happened right and Enough so, to show him, though, that this was the spy, that that the spy oh. you know, with the with the pigeons and stuff. Uh -huh. So yeah. Toronaga does trust his son. It's more that he's just like, okay, I'm taking away all of your agency. Yeah, right. You have no <laughs> ability to make choices anymore. You have a lot to learn still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, um, holy shit! The fact yeah. that yeah, this is this is wild. Having an act of God in the story be something that so drastically shifts the plot. The of earthquake? Just, yeah, the yeah, earthquake. Yeah, yeah. That's something that normally I would think would be a terrible idea to do because then it's like, well, wait a minute. That could, you know, mm. feel like hand of the author. No, 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 no. But 
That's that's the whole point is that they're well, talking about. Well, it's also based how, off of historical d- events, so. I mean, sure, I mean, it's it's historical fiction, so there probably was an earthquake that wiped out, you know. Uh, yeah, to, to, or or just the fact that you know uh, the idea of earthquakes and you know natural disasters and stuff like that being a common occurrence that people had to deal with mm-hmm. is very much a real thing. But then you know that's that is a part of informing the audience of mm-hmm. the culture that these people live in right and if someone like blackthorn or the audience is just still not getting it right right well here's a way to communicate yeah. it in very you know bolded highlighted underlined no you know, uncertain terms no uncertain terms yeah. that that there is a reason for the way that they live <laughs> you know right yeah. because shit's wild yo like, also like this is another little historical tidbit uh, Japanese castles were notoriously built almost entirely out of wood. Mm-hmm. There was no metal. So um, the higher your castle was, the more likely it would get struck by lightning. Well, I tell you, um, Osaka Castle, for one, had been rebuilt so many times because of lightning fires that basically end up burning down the whole castle uh-huh. quickly, I mind you. Like, whoo, oh, sure. like just I can imagine. gone, just gone. That, um, uh, like that whole idea of rebuilding the house up over mm-hmm. and again. They're not talking just about the tiny little hovels. Like, y'all, go and look this up. This is wild. Like, Japanese castles and lightning like strikes mm-hmm. leading to fires that just burns them down overnight, like immediately. Nothing they can do to stop it. Well, right. I mean, I'm just thinking. And, right. then, they, and then how quickly they rebuild it. That's that's the cool part. Like, you, mm-hmm. you look into that and then realize how quickly they're like, okay, and we've saved all the drawings and the details and everything. We're going to do right, it all we're again. ready for something like this to happen. Right. You know. Yeah, right. that's, that is wild. Isn't that nuts? But, yeah, houses don't just equate necessarily to um, buildings, Mariko. Right. Or they don't necessarily have to equate beyond um, buildings. Right. There's it's, things that, you know, there's nuance between the two. Two different, you know, ways of approaching the world. Yeah. Both have their points. Clang, 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 they yeah. clash. Oh, hey, maybe sparks fly. Right. We saw I a lot of those sparks today. Yeah, right. We all ship it. They're, yeah. And they're going to learn things from each other. But Right. But they are... Really going to resist learning anything from each oh, other. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I I love it so much. He is getting rewarded mm-hmm. for being the thing that they would usually punish and or mm-hmm. end up not even having to punish because that person would willingly offer up their own life. Sure. For the for the lack of courtesy that they brought. Yeah. So the mm-hmm. idea that Mariko in her broken moment of just vulnerability and sadness was like dishonor dishonor what yeah what is there to dishonor he lives in dishonor mm-hmm. and he's like well yes i'm a fucking pirate like, <laughs> yeah fuck y'all you, oh, you cunts yes <laughs> it's just like, like i so anyways, i need to I read blasting you know? i need like, to read this book like I, I oh, believe man. it. Yeah, it's a book series too so you'd have oh, plenty shit. of content to get into yeah no because yeah. this is this is awesome like yeah this so, might also be because of how slowly, if you will, we're going through chapters. Mm-hmm. I'll bet you anything this is also just one book, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. okay, so here's the thing that I wanted to uh, to talk about with Fuji and why I think she's just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, so, awesome. So this show has a level of brutality in it that is, like, it's, it's intense, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, with all the stuff that we've seen, we've gotten this episode sure. and the first episode, all this stuff. That can very easily be too much for an audience, right? And so the showcasing the humanity within all of that craziness, right? That's that's how we can truly believe that. That's also how we can truly believe the brutal things that happen, right? Because we can see the the life happening in the midst of that, right? It's not just some tragedy. This is just how they have to live their life, and the way in which we are able to have comedy in this series in the same episode where all this wild shit happens. And the things that I personally find the most funny tend to be either Blackthorn, you know, cursing at people in English, or the one that I wasn't expecting. Fuji being like, I feel very put upon and have to navigate this, but also I'm not the translator and things like that. So there's all these people doing these things, and I'm basically in damage control. Like the... 
Just her eyes just like, uh, right, like oh the, my god. The, just... Oh fuck, I have to basically be a housewife and try and keep this place from burning down as everybody is seemingly trying to do their best to, to make that happen, right? Yeah. That, I, that is, oh my god, I right. just, it's I a, love that. It's a, it's a struggle upon which that uh, you do not have the tools to overcome. Right. So it makes her very relatable because uh, we yes. don't have uh, really a grid for what it would be like to be in her situation. Exactly. But we can see upon the way that she's acting emotionally that, ah, I've had those feelings before. Right. I because have had felt like that. Yes. I can't relate to what it would be like to be whisked off to a foreign land when you were a pirate and suddenly, you know, all this stuff and war is on the horizon. I, I can't know about that. But the, oh, Shit at home is chaotic. Like, <laughs> all right, I can understand that. Like, all right, yeah. And and so then the fact that we then had that scare at the end of like, oh no, oh no, is she okay? Is she okay? Right. And it did look like she got at the very least cut or something on her back mm -hmm. from something falling or right. what have you. But she's gonna make it. She's, she's gonna, gonna be fine. fine. Yeah. Right. But and and then that moment of tenderness of like the the grabbing of the hand of you know even though they can't really communicate and all that stuff and the whole situation is one that both of them don't want to be in. Right, it's the okay. I'm I'm really glad you're okay. Yeah, it's you know? it's kindness. It's yeah. something that translates beyond language. Yeah, exactly. It's a really sweet moment. Yeah. Um. But yeah, really solid episode. I was tossed about uh -huh. by a storm, though. <laughs> I I have never felt more uncomfortable mm. in this show thus far. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not hyperbole. That that's true. Um. Then when uh. We were inside the house, and right. Puntaro and Anjin Sama <laughs> were all together just stirring up shit. Yep. Everything that they did just just made me want to pull my hair out. I was just like, yeah. stop, stop, stop. See, at the beginning, I'm like, oh, this is hilarious. I love it. And then it's like, By the oh, middle, no. we're like, no, oh, God. no, no, oh, no, stop. no, no, ah. And then it's the, okay, it's done, right? And then he goes to sleep, and it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I see where this is going. And then we start to hear the noises, and it's like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so um, Yabushige has navigated another situation rather well. Uh-huh. Had a fun little uh, uh, kind of uh, reminding somebody of the pecking order, being like, you're gonna give me what's already mine? Do I need to right. like cuff you off the back of the head, you stupid little yeah. kid? And I can't believe I thought it was gonna go the different way of the no, no, no. Right. no. You're given this charge. You will, you will not shirk this charge, kind mm -hmm. of a thing. No, no, no. It's the now. This shit's mine. It's mine anyway. So don't you try and give it to me. You know. Well, I think it's. I think it was what you were saying originally. Oh yeah. It's just the. Did, did you forget who you are? Right. Like. Like You're you will, you got will. Big britches, you know. Well, no, it's the thing of you will do this. This is your charge. Mm -hmm. So don't think about anything else. You're not somebody here. Right. So in some ways, I think it's 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 the original thing you were saying too. Oh, okay. It's just that he's like insulted that the guy would then think, wait, did you think that Toranaga just made you a lord or something? No. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. That's You're not how this works. My vassal. You're my right. person here. Don't. Don't, I, don't step out of line. I love the way that Toranaga used that whole situation <laughs> yes. to manage Yabushige. Because, like, the, hey, I know what's up. You know, and it's like, oh, no. That, 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 I mean, maybe, you know, oh, I have a nephew. Oh, you know, he's young. He, he could have totally done something dumb like that. Uh -huh. And then it's like, oh, hmm. Punish him? No. No, I want to reward him, right? What a... What a uh, intelligent... Good, good uh, thinker and, you know, action taker and all that stuff, right? Right, like, just to kind of keep keep him on his toes of being like... Exactly. You don't know what to expect from me, but also, um, like, I'm not buying your bullshit. Nah. And so the thing that you The might... Yabushige, like, bullshit face is so obvious. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I am I'm here <laughs> to suck up and kiss up and... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and it's so obvious because then when you see Yabushige normally, it's just like... Ugh, right. Fucking fuck. Like, in some ways, he's exactly like John Blackthorne in his true self. Oh, sure. But he's forced to be the, like, huh, yes. Right. Absolutely. Well, and that's why they kind of... They kind of had that, like, uh -huh. short bromance, you know, after, right. like, the, he, you know, Blackthorne was no longer his captive, you know, yeah, in, yeah. in the beginning. But also, this is a way of basically Toronaga saying, hey, you were a brutal person. 
Mm -hmm. You are gifted in that area. You're not being honest about it, and I don't like that, so I'm going to be rewarding someone else. But if you have uh, clever, underhanded tactics and ideas, I'm not going to throw them out. I'm all ears, boy. Like, you know, so... You can you can still get you know uh, get get your food get good dogs from me yeah yes. yeah right I but feed, also I feed the clever ones yeah right but also yeah no you're totally stuck with me like yeah here's yeah. a bone oh your cousin yeah go give him the good meat right like, and also oh. in doing so show, sowing dissension within his would be plotters right the people that would be plotting to maybe like you know, do stuff against them. And it's the, oh yeah, Maybe. I'm going to make it so that now he's real pissed at, I, you know, I, his nephew. I, I do think that there's an element where Toranaga is more worried about, like, timing of things. Mm-hmm. And that he's like, yeah, Yabushi guy, I can just keep him at bay. I'll deal with him later. Because mm-hmm. right now he's not a problem. But right. by doing this, every time he puts it off is another moment where Yabushige does something like sending a messenger to Ishido with... Uh-huh. You know, the right. news of, hey, by the way, here's the head, found out, you know. Yeah. So it's the kind of stuff where... T- oh, Toronaga, I didn't make that connection point. Toronaga needs to be a little bit shrewd, too. Like, yeah. Because something crazy can happen where it's like you feel great about everything and then you maybe even set up the the the, daimyo, the, daimyo, the taiko's the mother, mm-hmm. to be then put yep. into the council position where she can exacerbate things into war before they're fully united or oh, something. Yeah. And that might be your plan, but that also might not be, so right. we'll, we'll see. You know, because chaos, and you don't control the chaos, but you might be able to ride it a bit. Mm-hmm. And and I, I totally misinterpreted what was going on, because I figured it was the head was something where Toronaga was basically saying, okay, my son did this. I'm not going to, like pretend that i had nothing to do with it or whatever and so it's the well if we did this then you know you might as well be upfront about it but no i, I totally think that uh, was yeah yeah let me go was, find the scene exactly because it was very early on in uh in the episode so right. it might have been actually before that um no it actually might have been from a previous no, it was a different person. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right, because then it's at a different point where Yabushige... Right, he's like, we got to smooth things over. Right, before everything goes to shit. Man, right? this episode was so wild. Like, for so much of it, I was just like, I don't want to speak. This is incredible. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, it was, it was after. Yeah, it was definitely after. Yeah. But, yep. Also, I loved the shit. the bit of like the meeting with the you know the regents and everything, and the way in which like ah yes we can have this person replace it no fuck that you know like they the the squabbling how how quickly it happens and it's just like all right well this person got pissed off they leave mm-hmm. this person got pissed off they leave you know. Oh. Mm-hmm. But yeah, also the moment where. Uh, Blackthorn realizes, like, I killed him. Right. I killed that man. Like, this might have been also the sundering moment for him as well. Because I think he knows what it means to give someone their sword. Yeah? I think he knows what it meant. I... Do you, I don't think so. Do you think he knows? Because because I'm guessing... Toronaga laughed. Well, probably because he knows sure. that he doesn't really know. But do you think he kind of well, knows? Well, okay, let's be real. How much do you think he knows, then? L- what what's your question? Oh, sorry. With regards to what does it mean to give someone your sword? Right. So I'm guessing that what giving the sword means is effectively pledging fealty. Yeah, it's it's right? it's saying I will serve you. Yeah. It's effectively saying I will give you my life. Sure. Um yeah, I I don't think Blackthorn knows that. You don't that. think he knows? Okay. I don't think he knows that. I think Toronaga knows that he doesn't know that. Um That's why I think, he laughs here. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> but but the thing is I don't think Toronaga would um uh if he does use this, it'll be as a pretense only, right? Because if he doesn't oh. want Blackthorn to leave, he's just not going to leave. Oh, oh, totally, you know? totally. I'm, I'm just meaning, I'm meaning from the emotional standpoint, Jacob. I'm not talking about from the actual hard mechanical side oh, of things. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm talking about with Blackthorn here thinks about what he did as being. And I'm an awful person because I'm not valuing my words here. The first act I do is going to be in service of this guy as I run down here to save his life, and then immediately once he sees that he's deficient in some way. I will then give up my thing that 
is going, I think, going to make him sufficient, you know? I think um, it was less about him wanting to make a specific gesture to Toranaga and more making an acquiescence to this culture he doesn't fully understand. And so it's the, oh, it's important that he has his swords. I have swords, mm -hmm. right? These don't, like, um, they, they mean something to me because, you know, I understand what the gift was, but mm -hmm. here you go. Well, you know? okay, so the reason why I, I, I maybe... Maybe I'm trying to like hone in on something here. Is that I think it means something in the acquiescence side of things. Yes, I, I am mostly pointing at that. But I, I think that there's something there in that when Mariko brought up the lie of these swords, meaning that these swords don't really have great mm -hmm. family value. Right. They were peddled for rice, basically, mm -hmm. um, to not have the shame of things uh, there because her uh, her father actually her, died like a coward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, meaning that in some ways, Toranaga doesn't know necessarily about these swords. But sure. if he does, then it's also the thing of like, oh, these swords, you know, they don't necessarily, <laughs> they right. don't necessarily mean that much. But <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, cool. Yeah, you know what? Yep. I recognize your intent, uh, Unjin Sama. Exactly. Right. Then rather the cultural implications of it. Another thing that I really appreciated um, from the scene before, because I feel like that's kind of a, a, a pair to this scene. Mm -hmm. um, when he goes to Toranaga and he's like, okay, this whole country's fucked and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, the way Mariko does the like, okay, cool, I'm in the position of power, I'm upset with you and all that stuff, so I'm going to specifically... Gonna change your words a little I'm going to change your words. I'm going to sabotage this, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And so that basically, of course, Toranaga has the response of, what like th this is not worth my time like right it's the you have to figure whatever else is is that whole thing out on your own which which he did deduce kind of essentially what was going on because he understands why uh he understands why Uejiro had to die Toronaga yeah no I don't think so I don't think he even knows the situation that's beneath his station. Oh, you know, like okay. like even with the whole thing of like find another spy, uh, the guy you know is like, oh, oh he was acting on his person. own thing. Yeah, yeah, right, right, exactly. Oh yeah, of course, of yeah. course. But that's that's just another way in which like that's it's a fun way to introduce conflict in a way that I absolutely believe, um, and the thing that it is that is being basically like blocked is not like plot progress necessarily, right? Mm. And so it doesn't feel it doesn't feel as like frustrating as it might be if Mariko were to like, you know, sabotage some other negotiation that's maybe more important, right? That she knows this is something that's really just going to affect Blackthorn yep. and maybe positively affect Toranaga because if she stonewalls him here, then it'll make it harder for him to leave or something like that, you know, but maybe, yeah. But yeah, really jam-packed episode, lot mm -hmm. here. And now, uh, war doesn't look so good for you, Toranaga. No, it doesn't. No. Not and at all. There's a possibility that you've weaseled something in with the uh, mother of uh, Taiko, or Taiko to be, or mm -hmm. you've potentially put someone there who's going to really galvanize them, and mm -hmm. that that yeah. would be bad. Yeah. That would be really bad. But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about other other shows in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.